in this video the max built-in function in Python 3. So we'll start with a quick look at the docs. Max uh, actually has two ways to do it. One is with an iterable and one is with two or more arguments. I think the big difference is if you do the iterable, uh, you have this default option that's not available to you in the argument style. First, let's try out the iterable pattern. So we could pass maybe a list with one, two, three, four, and the max will be four. You could actually remove this list and then now we're talking about that argument pattern and you could say that this has four arguments. When we talk about that default argument, well, if we do it with the list, we can have default equals, uh, let's say 100. And that's cool. That'll come into play if we have an empty list or an empty iterable. But if we went back to our argument based style, and we tried to do default here. That's going to say that we can't specify a default for multiple positional arguments. Next, let's look at max with string comparison. So let's say we had apple and we had dog. What do you think the max is here? Well, it's going to be dog. That might seem unintuitive. You might have thought the one with the longer length would be the max but it's dog and you're gonna have to think of things in terms of both ASCII and in terms of both alphabetical style. So it has a higher ASCII number and it's uh, you know higher in the alphabet. One way you could think about this is using ORD. So ORD of A is 97 and ORD of D is 100. So 100 is greater than 97. We could also look at an ASCII table just to kind of confirm and see uh, a couple things I want to point out here. So uppercase comes first, below lowercase. So if you compare uppercase and lowercase, uppercase will be the max. And then say we took one of these symbols, let's say uh, one of these curly brackets, and let's say we did a comparison of A and that curly bracket. Well, the curly bracket's higher because it's further along uh, in the ASCII table and again we could use or to to confirm this so a and then the curly is 123 and if you want to see the capital A that's 65 so when we do max of a and a the lowercase is the max I always found this stuff unintuitive so hopefully that's good that we're talking it out a little bit now let's start looking at our key optional argument so say we had a and Z. So normally A will win out. We determine that you know lowercase is further along than uppercase. Uh, but what if we added key equals string dot uh, upper? Well now Z is going to win out because you're comparing two uppercase strings. Uh, obviously with lower it'll be the same because you're still comparing two of the same thing. So there's a lot of things we can do with key. Um, I think a common one is len. So if we go back to our first example of apple and dog, um, and we did len, that might give you the intuitive response you were hoping to get, right? So normally dog is going to win out here, but if we did key equals len, then apple will win because we're comparing the length of the strings. Another cool thing you can do with this key argument is use functions in here uh, that you've created yourself. So we'll go over to VS Code where I've created a little function called sum digit. So it's gonna add those digits up, right? It'll be like one plus zero plus zero or three plus two plus one is six or two plus six plus seven is, is what, 15, um, etc. So this is a fun one and we can run this and we'll see that our max is two, six, seven. And if we remove this here, our max would probably be that 5.9, right? Yeah, so 5.9. And so just a simple example of taking a list, or you could make it positional arguments, all good, and you'll get the same result. And we're using functions of our own creation to do the sorting. Thanks for watching.